Hi everyone, my name is Matt Haynes. I'm an audiobook narrator, and this is part of my series of accents and voices that I'm studying. Uh, just to have something handy if an author is asking for a region or a certain character type. This is part of my study of the Trinidad accent, also known as uh, Trinidad Creole English. And um, I am listening to various samples. I haven't found any formal instruction on the accent, although if anybody wants to offer, I'd, uh, please do get in touch with me. Um, I am on social media, Facebook, audiobook narrator Matt Haynes. Just uh, shoot me a message. But uh, what I'm going to outline right now are some of the beginning principles that I'm hearing from the accent. If you have specific insight on the accent, please put in the comments uh, where I seem to be accurate, where I seem to be going wrong, and any other things to keep in mind. So uh, principles. Uh, first of all, just generally, I'm finding that the accent has a very, very nice, puffy, wide space in the mouth. Uh, and um, I, I just find that very, very refreshing, very, very relaxing. And where it comes from, uh, the thing that I constantly am thinking about when I'm thinking about that is the switch of the a ah sound to the aw ah sound. Ask, ask, bad, bad, and, and. Now, uh, the aw ah sound goes into an o, oh, so it broadens even more. So hot, hot. Uh, we have the uh, a fairly common phenomenon, which is the th sound becoming a t if it's hard. Think, think or uh, a soft uh, voiced TH sound, I should say, um, it, like that becomes dot, gets replaced with a D. Very highly articulated Ls, play, play. Um, we have the drop of the R as in RP British. So her, he, first, fist. However, if a word uh, starts with an R or have, has an R early on, like uh, reach, becomes reach. I'm finding that there tends to be a little sort of a lean into that R, reach, um, from, from. Uh, we have also the U as in foot or good becoming an E, but good. We have an ER sound going into simply an a uh sound or an IS sound. So uh, her, he, work, wick. We have the abbreviation of the NG to the N. So thinking, thinking, uh, going, going. And uh, that's what I have to start. Now, uh, what I'd like to learn about is uh, the syllables. Um, when a syllable of emphasis changes between uh, general American English and uh, Trinidad Creole English. So for example, uh, well, we take the word example. Um, I put the emphasis in the middle. Example. Now, uh, is there a, a general rule of when it will be pronounced example or example or example? I, I want to know these things. When does the emphasis change and where? Also, uh, the music of the accent. I don't quite have a handle on that yet. And I want to learn also what makes it particularly distinct from Jamaican. So, because I can imagine confusing the two. Finally, do you think there is a good song that would uh, be good lyrics to uh, play with to this accent? I like to usually buck convention for both the accent and the lyrics, uh, putting two together that create a surprising new result, or do something that's a little cheeky or ironic with the lyrics of a song, putting them with the accent. So whether it's being cheeky or whether it's being revealing and unexpectedly moving, that's what I'm interested to know. So, comment, comment, comment. And uh, as your narrator and teacher of narration, I hope that my voice and your ears meet again real soon.